My name is Craig Easley. I'm the President and Dean of Academic Affairs at the Carrier Ethernet Academy. Thank you for giving me the time to introduce you to the MEF's Carrier Ethernet Certified Professional Program and to the Carrier Ethernet Academy, the leading provider of Carrier Ethernet education and training. In this short video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the MEF CCP exam. Well, almost everything. I can't really teach you all the correct answers to the exam in 10 minutes, now can I? But if you're looking for answers, then you've come to the right place. The Carrier Ethernet Academy goes above and beyond basic exam preparation by making our students Carrier Ethernet subject matter experts on the way to earning their MEF CECP. The Carrier Ethernet Academy was founded in 2007 in response to the growing need for Carrier Ethernet expertise within our industry. Our faculty of Carrier Ethernet experts are all long-term contributors to the MEF and bring that subject matter expertise into the classroom. We're the number one choice for preparing to take the MEF CECP exam and have trained over 70% of all MEF CECPs around the globe. I've personally taught our boot camp class on six of the seven continents each of the past three years. The Carrier Ethernet Academy is helping prepare the next generation of telecommunication professionals to support the global Carrier Ethernet market. As I discussed in the overview video, the tremendous growth in Carrier Ethernet over the past 10 years has created a huge demand for Carrier Ethernet experts in the telecom industry. In 2004, the MEF created certification programs for equipment vendors and service providers to test and certify that networking equipment and service provider networks built using that equipment were compliant to the MEF technical specifications. The MEF 9 and 14 certifications which have since evolved into the MEF's CE 2.0 certification program were both very successful with broad participation from equipment vendors and service providers around the world. In the wake of the success of these first MEF certification programs, back in 2011, the MEF introduced professional certification and introduced the MEF CECP. The program was designed to prepare a workforce to support the accelerated adoption of Carrier Ethernet networks and services worldwide and to fill a need that was not being met by existing vendor certification programs. Up until 2011, the telecom industry relied on vendor certification programs to train its workforce in the latest tech networking technologies. These programs were first and foremost designed to teach people how to use vendors' products, but some also covered the technologies in the products, at least to some degree. The Novell Certified Network Engineer, or CNE, was the first of many such programs. The success of these programs in creating brand loyalty in the ranks of those certifies did not go unnoticed by many other vendors like Cisco Systems, who also created certification programs designed to train a workforce to be familiar with and therefore brand loyal to their products. While some vendor programs became the de facto technical training programs for the industry, many others did little more than certify that their customers were familiar with how the products worked. The MEF CECP is the telecommunication industry's only vendor neutral certification program and is focused on the work of the MEF and related carrier Ethernet concepts and technologies. The MEF's growing number of CECP certified professionals are the recognized subject matter experts within our industry and are supporting the rapid growth of carrier Ethernet around the globe. The MEF CECP certifies technical knowledge in carrier Ethernet that's not based on any one vendor's products, so it does not require detailed knowledge on how that vendor has implemented the technology in those products. This makes the MEF CECP certification broadly applicable across a large range of networks using equipment from a mix of vendors. In only a few short years since the MEF CECP became available, there are already over 4,000 certified professionals, and that number is growing steadily to meet the demand for qualified carrier Ethernet experts. The large number of certified MEF CECPs also speaks to the popularity of the industry's first independent certification program and to the value of the training required to prepare for the rigorous MEF CECP exam. So let's talk about the exam itself. So listen up, here's the part where I give you all the answers to the exam. Psych! I still can't do that in 10 minutes. The MEF CECP exam is an 80 question multiple choice test. It's a closed book exam and candidates are given an hour and 45 minutes to complete it. It must be taken in the presence of a monitor who validates the identity of the examinee and ensures that they comply with the exam's closed book policy. The test covers 10 topics related to carrier ethernet and the work of the MEF. Definitions 
of MEF te terminology, along with thorough coverage of the MEF service definitions and services attributes, comprise about 60% of the material on the exam. The remaining 40% is a broad set of topics that include subjects like service OAM, access and transport technologies, applications for carrier Ethernet, and comparisons to legacy telecom technologies. Candidates who score at least 64% correct on the exam are awarded the MEF CECP certification, oh, which remains valid for three years. Examinees who don't pass the first time can retake the exam twice more within a six-month period. As I said, the exam covers all the basic definitions and requires the examinee to be fluent in the MEF's terminology. There are a number of questions designed to test your knowledge about the precise definitions of MEF-defined constructs like the user and external network interfaces, the UNI and ENNI, along with EVCs and OVCs, Ethernet and Operator Virtual Connections. And it is connections, not circuits. There's at least one hint for you. But most of the exam is based upon application-oriented questions and real-world customer scenarios. Let's take, a, let's take a look at one of these type of questions. In this scenario, a customer needs multi-site connectivity with a couple of other specific functional requirements on how the carrier Ethernet network will treat the customer traffic in the Ethernet virtual connection that extended between the sites. The subscriber doesn't want to coordinate with the service provider and wants all traffic from any VLAN to be forwarded to the other sites. Additionally, they want to create a single spanning tree domain across the sites. So what's the answer going to be? Well, the need for multipoint connectivity lets us quickly eliminate choice C because the Ethernet private line, uh, the EPL, is a point-to-point -point service that would only support two of the five subscriber sites. But now we need to look deeper at the requirements for the traffic handling since all the other choices provide multipoint connectivity. The Ethernet private LAN, choice A, is the only one that will enable the subscriber to send traffic from any VLAN between the sites without coordinating the list of VLANs with their service provider. The EPLAN is also the only one that allows passing the network control protocol message required to create a spanning tree domain across the subscriber's five sites. This is a pretty basic question, and there are many more advanced ones that require not only selecting the correct services definition, but also specifying a number of other attributes like bandwidth profile settings or the type of service OAM that's re required to validate that the service is meeting the subscriber's performance requirements. Okay, so once you've answered that one, along with 79 other questions like it, you'll you will have completed the test. Once you do, you'll get a report that shows you exactly how you did on each of the 10 subjects covered in the exam. While you don't get to see exactly which questions you missed or what the correct answers are, you'll get a good idea of how you did in each area. As you can see in this case, there's more red ink than green, so this candidate needs to do a bit more studying on the subjects before retaking the exam. It's interesting to note that although this candidate scored well on the access and transport topics, which seems to indicate that they were knowledgeable in networking, they didn't do so well on any of the MEF specific topics. The exam is given online and is hosted by the MEF, which is where you register and pay the exam fees. There are also a number of places that you can take the exam, including at the Carry Ethernet Academy at the end of one of our classes. Additionally, you can take the uh, exam at an MEF quarterly meeting, or online using the MEF's remote monitoring service. This distribution graph shows the types of professionals who have taken the exam and become MEF CECP certified over the years. The certification is most popular with sales engineering and pre-sales professionals along with network engineers who are able to leverage the skills that they learn prepping for the exam to be significantly more productive when working with their prospects to design the right carrier Ethernet solutions to meet each prospect's unique requirement. But the MEF CECP has broad application across a number of both technical and less technical jobs in the telecommunication industry. For professionals who architect, design, market, and sell and support carry Ethernet services. I hope you found this overview of the MEF CECP professional certification program and the details of the exam to be informational. The Carry Ethernet Academy welcomes the opportunity to help you prepare to take the challenging MEF CECP certification exam, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. For more information on the program, please visit our video library and check out the MEF CECP overview, and be sure to browse our website for more information on our course catalog and see what our alumni have to say about their experience with our MEF CECP bootcamp course. 
So thanks again for giving me the time to tell you a little bit about the exam. I'm sorry I couldn't give you all the right answers in the short time that we spent together. But we will teach you everything that you need to know in order to pass the exam if you were to come onto one of our courses. So I hope to see you in boot camp soon.